We're here. Uh, where are we here? Where, where's here? We're in the room. In which room? <laughs> This room is somebody's office. Somebody's? Where did office? But what, what, is this CFRB? Yeah, this is CFRB 1010. 1010, the office building on St. Clair and Young. It's um, St. Clair. To St. Clair. And what are we about to do? What's We're our about plan? To talk about the importance of bringing awareness to the community and in general to the public. Um, Hey, Joey, you have another guest coming up the elevator. Joey, guest coming up the elevator. Thank you. about getting the education out there through the media, as well as the students' awareness, as well as families, and as mo and most of all, each other. Who's our host uh, today? Uh, Tabby Johnson. Oh, the fabulous, the fabulous Tabby, Tabby Johnson is hosting us. But what a, there, there's a lot of special mm -hmm. people. Is this Tabby Johnson? Yes. Let me just get a good picture of her. There, there she is. My Look sweetheart. at that fabulous Miss Thing he's throwing down on the outfit department again. <laughs> I fell down in these slipped boots, honey. Honey, I bet you look fabulous, though. <laughs> Thank you. Thank See, because she would fall great. gracefully. I did. I grabbed a tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to do a little crossover and. Uh, where I'm putting you on, you know, like you're in that first hour, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Yes, this is fun, Tabby. Yeah. Tabby, you don't mind that we're going to film all this, do you? Oh, it's all, it's Make all up. No, you I'm look good. great. You look great. <laughs> wow, so that was, see, we were talking about whose show it was, and then Tabby pops in. But you know what else is special about today, uh, Sabrina? Today is her last show. Did you know that? You didn't know that. Yes, yeah, she told me she's going to. Oh, you knew yeah. Okay. Can you? Uh, and she, she is so happy that she's she doing the last happy. show like with us being in it. Yes. Um, How do you do it? How do you get these people? Like you get them all charged up and and you know. She's already you. Alive, she, like like you. So you, yeah. part of your enzymes or your what it alkal uh, somehow yeah your waves your energy Not waves. Her. Met her energy waves. Well, you know, as you said, like the, the most important thing that she brings is a joyful spirit. She has a joy in her heart. Yeah. And you yeah. can't take that away. No, you can't, but then you see it in you, like there's two joyful people here. It's almost like an explosion. It's like a combustion. <laughs> well, this one over here, my sweet cakes over here. <laughs> yeah, but she's got to hang around you more because she, 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 she forgot how to be happy. She, ah, you gotta hang you on. You forget how to be happy? Yes. We have she's, engagements to go to. Yeah, huh? You know what? Good, there is good. A, it's almost uh, situations that bring out happiness sometimes. And I guess you have to embrace the moment more than, you know, always dwell on things. That's, you know, sometimes you have to be happy for those moments that you sort of... So you have to go through those experiences sometimes. So Sabrina knows how to put that happy energy into you, so... Well, you know what, it's, it's an injection of <laughs> love and appreciation for Katharina has done, how she supports this... I know, she's... She's uh, absolutely, she's absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I see what she goes through, I see what you've done. Yeah. And if that is enough to inspire us, each one of us in this room and the public, then something's seriously missing yeah. in our lives. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what, it's, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. So what's going today? Like what's... Because uh, well, you, you, you were, see, you were like the... Uh, uh, for what's happening today and, and how... You're like the uh, nucleus, uh, you know. Well, really, it's the agenda of our hearts, is it why we always in such And because of that, we're able to emulate this authentic. It's very, very important that I repeat that because that's what saves lives. That's what makes the difference. So, you had this idea of bringing everybody together, though. Here's yes. this is what I'm getting. Because I saw your example, George. I saw what you did on a, on a huge avalanche of people and I really saw how you, you took things by the horn and you made a difference. Hi. 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 We're just doing some uh, one can, of those uh, real life documentaries. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I go sure. over there? Sure. Sure. Desk. That's part of real life documentary. To have somebody come in during while we're doing, a, you know, it's part of the. Sorry, but I don't want to like step in the shot. No, but see, you had this. Okay, we did a fabulous show on Tabby. Uh, a month ago, right? Yes. Or something like that. Yes. And then your head, your brain just kept, oh, there's got to be more here. We've got to do something out. And then you had this idea of bringing everybody together on this day. 
you know, that's that's a bit of genius. Uh, well, because you know, it is it is in leaving this world and it's in giving in this world also that we don't ever leave. Mm. Because in, in true essence, heaven is coming here, so you don't have to fly up to the sky. It's coming here, so everything's really settled here. Even our country, even our people, what we're trying to do for one another, just supporting one another, building up each other. This is what it's okay. All about. It's okay. Okay. This is what it's about. Sorry, okay. Real life. Sorry. We're not. There's no commercial breaks here, or no, no you know, like, no editing thing. either. I think that you know we always talk about charity in our country, and we always talk about what it means. But the real definition is really love in action. If we do not project this love in action with our two feet, with our two arms, with our goodness of our hearts, then we don't really get anything because okay. we don't leave anything behind. So is Catherine Grecky your partner? Yes. My you, you're your partner in crime? No. no you, you're not crime in goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so you guys are gonna really stir it up, right? Yes. Like my you, celebrity fan. Yeah, you guys are gonna cause all kinds of I like listening commotion. to uh, Sabrina. Well, because we mean it. So, and we got some major players here, Patty, uh, and then we got Terry Jones, and the Toronto Torch Champion, the biggest city, <laughs> one of the biggest cities in the world, Denise Lindsay. Uh, th you're, this is going to be nothing. You know why you're doing this right now, Venice? Just to get a little warm up. You know, as the day gets, you're going to get a whole of a roof. Uh, you'll see. see. This is so. Tabby's son. Tabby's son, Joy, right? How you doing, Joy? Hi, hi, hi. how are you? Uh, how are see, you? this this must be cool, eh? It's really cool. I had to help out my mom have a good time. Uh, that's amazing. It's fun. That's amazing. It's times. How many how many of your friends want to say, can I hang around with you Saturday at the radio show? <laughs> They come and they steal all the free books. Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> um, can I get all of you guys to write down your names? Just on my mind, and so talk to you as well. I like the camera. It's a cool camera, 100 gigabytes. Yeah. So, it's HD? Yeah, and I got 10 hours on this battery, HD. Nice. The only problem is uh, there's a lot of uh, things that don't uh, aren't friendly with HD. Really? Oh. Yeah. So well, when you're trying to fool around with it and editing, it's hard because it's such yeah. big files. Unless you got an editing suite with, the, you know, it's no problem. But yeah. most people don't have that. Yeah. No, it's a big difference, though. Like when you see the HD. Quality, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you have to play it when you upload it on the computer? Do you see it in the HD quality? Yeah, you pretty well do. You could see the, if you could see the difference on a computer, yeah. then you know there's a difference. Like, cause yeah, it's five people. She's gotta she's gotta be able to coast through. Yeah, yeah. I think we better print Catherine. You have to do it over again. Better print. She needs a new piece. You better print one. Just flip it over. Flip it over, Kat. Flip it over. Oh yeah. Yeah. Flip it over. Okay. Yeah. So you need to print it really clearly. And okay. How about a few? Because my printing, my writing, I, I like that. I don't like my printing. You're right. <laughs> okay. Right away, she has to be there. Okay, Katharina, I'm like you do. You do it. How do I spy you? Like, why are you into movies? Or, uh, My uncle was a director. Oh, really? So I'm such for a what? Um, or do, just freelance director? No, he's for a lot of movies in Hollywood and really? TV shows and stuff. He does the show The Wire, The Shield. Oh, okay. Okay, let you hang around with him then. Yeah, so oh. I learned a bunch about that. It's fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that show. And I'm a big fan of your aunt, too. She's. She's pretty She's happening. Totally She's pretty happy. Oh my god, since her punk days. Yeah. Who's your aunt? Molly Johnson. Molly Johnson. She, one of my friends. <laughs> He had this, he bought this old perfect woody station wagon yeah. and she, he, has, he had holes in the roof of it from your aunt with her stiletto heels. She just kind of popped, popped the roof of it. She was punk. She was crazy. Yeah, she's wild. Back in her Ultimota days. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Those days were creative days. There were different kind of days. Yeah. Well, she was amazing because even when we were all broke and stuff, she would, she would be the one. She'd make some money from a gig and she'd buy a piece of art from somebody just to keep them going. Yeah. Pretty good deal. Yeah, I used to go see her at the Cameron house in the back of the show. My mom played there too, at the Cameron. Yeah.
Yeah. She used to do all that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Patty? Oh, she just wants you. She just wants your name, so she can see them while she's on the air. I'll talk to her right now. I don't know. Yeah, she knows her, but for us, it's harder. Yeah, she's What's the weather like outside? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, is it still rain? No, no, it's nice. I thought we were going to have a snowstorm. Okay, you have to write down your name. Just print it. Yeah. Well, no, they said it. They said it was going to have some. Well, it was windy. It was pouring I rain. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it came down as rain. Right. It was pouring rain, but earlier. Yeah. So, Sabrina, what did you want to do? Have the computer going yeah, while we're in there? Yeah, I'm going to look at we're going to talk about the donors, because they're waiting to, so a lot of my friends are waiting to call in. Okay, so we'll bring this yeah. in. Could we just plug it in so we can look at it? We don't have to plug it in. Like, I need to look at his... Um, yes. Laptop, if you can plug it Denise in. Was, and, uh, yeah, I, I heard Denise initially. I, I just going to help my mom. I'll ask if there's a place to That's plug the laptop. Yeah, in. Exactly. but I don't have the plug with him. The battery operated. It's bad. Oh, so I can just look at it anyway. There's a spot on there. There should be a spot on the desk. Oh, okay, okay, good. Because I need to go over that because I told the and and tonight I can pick up all the boxes. I will send that out like wildfire. Okay. Okay. And Larry can send it to more of his big news lawyers, to some of his top lawyers. He can put it in their office. six months. I don't care. I'm not going to be here. Really? Where are you going here? I've been backpacking all over. Just doing, no that, doing the six month adventure. Getting lost. In which fun. month are you leaving? February 27th. I have one way ticket to Paris and then figure out there what's happening. Oh, that's easy. One way ticket to Paris. Yeah, so I'm planning to go. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. You want to eat, eat at home? Some uh, description. Okay, cool. So when she just comes in, she'll just you. And yeah, and then she'll know everybody's part there right, too. Cool. And you are right. Do you need See a you. chair or do you want to stand? Oh, with this? There's three uh, mi There's three mics. Right. So I don't know who wants to. We can two of you on a mic or something. And yeah, yeah, we'll do it like that. We'll have them two on a mic. Uh, we'll have uh, them three on a mic. Can you okay. do three? Uh, pause. It'll be a little tight. It'll, It'll be, be a little tight. tight. Like, could, remember how we did it last time? We had some people talking, and then we did the second half like that. Yeah. Could we do it like that. Yeah, still? you could do that like that. Could we do it okay. half half? Yeah, 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 sure. I okay. think that's sure. better. Like, okay, she cool. needs to go on the first half, and we need to go on the second half. Okay. So when we bring you guys in, then just okay. amongst yourselves, right. you yep. pick who wants to okay. go. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Set up. Cool. Perfect. See you guys in a bit. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be your story. Like, yes. you know, they want to know what a family goes through, I guess. Uh, you know, and what happened. Like, in the, um, the other so, do I go uh, with her, too? Yeah. Yeah. No, you're a partner. I'm a partner with you, but I think these three need to be in the first section with my. These three? Yes. Oh, Maybe George needs oh. to give the intro to the whole thing. Yeah, you will do that, but then you come in the second half. And you should be president of both. Okay, yeah, I'll be president of both. both. I'll be president. Yeah. You should be there for the whole thing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. And I, I don't know how you would like to set it up in terms of the torch. This I brought the torch. Yeah. How? No, just, you know, because 
you know, we're going like, mean, to talk no, about this just thing. just saying and, how you want to set it up uh, as an intro. You know what? What you're doing step by yeah. step. This, this was yeah, the last one that, that uh, was the Montreal Tour Champions oh, through that okay. snowstorm for Zoe. So it's like this is freshly off the road. Yeah. We haven't cleaned it in. Is it heavy? No, not <laughs> here. Feel. Just don't wear mittens that slide. Okay. Yeah. Plus, Christopher is going to be here uh, with you all the way. He's carried it right across Canada, and he he can give you all the tips, you know, because there's you know certain things that. You know, so he'll. Uh, He's got all the moves. You have to be careful when it's there. So, are you from Russia? No, 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 it's the other side of the It's the freezing head. <laughs> yeah, no, I get very cold. This is Canada, yeah. just like Russia. Russia. My ears get cold, and I just, I, I, I just hold on. Yeah. And don't talk about my toes. That's another issue. You know, I, uh, I found that um, I used to be able to support or put up with the, the winter because I'm not a winter person. You have to do winter sports in order to appreciate the winter here in Canada. Otherwise, very hard. Oh, look who's oh, hi, George. Oh, Joe. Oh, Good to see you. you. Let me introduce you. Hi, Florence. How are I've you? seen this face on uh, somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe. How are you doing? <laughs> Um, you them all. I always asked about you. How are you doing? Good to see you How are you doing? Yes, I know. I was just reading about you this morning. I uh, uh, I have your uh, oh, okay. <laughs> photo at my house. Yeah, I uh, I saw that Alice since we have been friends forever. Yeah, so I told her that we have to have somebody from our school to uh, to help us do this. So she said, oh, I think I have just a perfect person to help us. So pretty good, pretty good. We're just uh, getting this on film, everything, because this is very important. We're, we were going through everybody's role. Yeah. Uh, so you want to have an order? Yeah, yeah. So maybe... Uh, no, I, I don't want to do an intro. Yeah. Because you said the stage, you know all of yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, so maybe us four first. Because, you know. Uh, there's three well, mics. Yeah, there's three mics. So you, you have a mic. We'll go on Florence. And I'll have the other mic. And then on the second half, we'll have uh, Katrina and uh, Sabrina. And Denise and uh, Terry. Oh, yeah, we'll try and get with my show so tired when we got so I got a good night out for Okay, thank you. I was going over the route with you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Joe, do you got time after this uh, event to stay to because we wanted to continue talking about a few things. Do you have uh, time or well I do. Uh, we'll have to see how she how she feels. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I went to uh, 21 St. Clair. You know what it says it in the phone book, 21. <laughs> I know. That's that's a, I know. Okay. It says it on the phone book, though. 21 St. Clair Avenue West. It says that. So, so I was going to send all our guys in the area tomorrow and says give everybody a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> in my area. But in Ontario. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's a matter of how she, but she, she was pretty tired this morning. So that's why we put in. What I brought out to was. Uh, yes. Did you bring my picture? Yes. I got all that. But I, you know, I brought some of them because and then you can choose which one. I don't know. I, you know when I was having problems trying to find a picture? 
Uh, is that this one? I, no, I, I can't use that one. But the other ones. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not an Ottawa Senator fan. The owner forced me to put that on. Uh, if well, anybody asks us. Well, now. <laughs> well, you, <laughs> you have the pictures. Is this happening in Toronto? It's happening in Toronto. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll have to explain. Sorry, going to try to involve you with this. Okay. And then I'll, uh, we have to scan it. So what I got is, is this, and I was going over it with Terry. Yeah. She can get a half a dozen other uh, students to, to help out. Yeah, I, I think what we're going to do is that, as I was saying to George, once we do the little powwow at Westview, we'll come out all up there. We're going to be going sharply north, and then east on Finch, and then south on Jane. See what I mean? Because that will be the direct route. So all the way Jane to Blow Street. And then we go east on Blow Street. And that will take us all the way to Avenue Road. And then right on Avenue Road and we are at Park. So now the the only thing that we have, we'll try and get a police van. I'm sure we'll get one. And those that are going to take over from you, they will be in the van. Running. So now it's going to be a matter of from Westview, how far do you want to go before change? And then we'll come into the van. Um, the only thing is we have to make sure that no matter what we do between Westview and Queen's Park, I we only want to see your face at Westview. And I love to see your face at Queen's Park. You see what I mean? So you must start. In between, that's okay. But when we get near to Queen's Park, you must be the one running. Oh, yeah. And then after Queen's Park, we're not going to run. We're just going to walk. Through so I, I just want to make sure that you are the highlight. So at Westview, you will start. Um, I don't know. Maybe when we get to Blow and Battles, or oh, Blow and Spadina or something like that, you take over again, so that you will end up at Queen's Park. So sort of like continuity, so it would be like you're the one doing the run all the way. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, and then once we get to Queen's Park and we're leaving, there's no problem because we just don't work to Queen's Park. I mean, to all City Hall. So from there, I think again, we're just going to continue on University Avenue, and uh, we continue all the way to Queen Street, and we go east uh, east of Queen Street. Yeah. So that, I think that's what we we'll do. So all the takes, all the sponsors and things will just meet us at different intervals. And what you can do if you would like one day, uh, the other students, is do kind of a trial run. You know, just timing-wise, see roughly how long it would take. Uh, so uh, whatever time you get, then we just add a few more minutes because during our time when we're doing it, there might be a reporter that wants to do a picture and asks you to stop for a second. Of course. So, but we'll get a rough idea, I, I, you know, and then we could find out where we can place uh, where it looks like each relay person can, can kick in at which spot, at which location. And we can also time it too at each location. Yeah, we can time it. Uh, I, I think. One of the first things we want to do is to manually write down the road people and then even if it's by driving, let's say someone drives you, so from Westview, you can go by and say, okay, where are we going north on Oakdale, east on Finch, south on Jane, to Blood Street. Okay, these are the intersections where I like to change. You see what I mean? So once you communicate that intersection by uh, a written diagram to me to, or to George, then the the lead car or the lead motorcycle, this motorcycle that's going to be there, he will have that. So automatically he will just stop. When he stops, that's where you change. 
And that's where we change. And uh, so we, we don't see anything on the road. When he stops and we we'll just bring him in, somebody else comes out. When he stops again, somebody else comes in. The, but then when we get onto Blount Street, as we're getting close to Queen's Park, then you will do the finish. So that, that's how we do it. But anything from Queen's Park to City Hall, it's no big deal. Everybody can actually come. It's just that you will be the one that will have the, the touch and we'll all walk to you. So now as far as the back pipe, what I think we should probably look at doing is to start the back pipe at Queen's Park. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yes. That's where we are going to be walking anyway. So yes. Yeah. So from Queen's yes. Park to Old City Hall will be the back pipe. And yeah. she would be leading and any other family member, you know, Debbie's family, other my family, whatever, right. will just be behind her. So that that's so all the other dignitaries will just be behind her. Um, so she would be so we'll have probably a motorcycle herself and the dignitaries, another motorcycle, the pickup truck with the backpipe, yeah. then a police van. Okay. And it would be such a slow pace. Yeah. So yeah. But, uh, and that's good for the TV too, uh, exactly. people, because they can position themselves a lot easier. And once they feel like the road is safe, they don't worry about their picture taking. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. but, uh, well, well, if anything at all, I don't know. I'm not going to talk for anybody. I whether they're going to. I, I can almost assure you that. When it comes to University Avenue, more than likely they're going to shut down. Okay. When we go south on University, yeah. they're going to shut it down. Okay. On, so you see, each division, so 50, 52 will have to be involved. If 52, 52 will be taken care of University. Anything from Queen's Park to City Hall will be 52. 52. And 52 will go all the way to Avenue Road. Yeah. And then we're looking at 14 uh, from Law and Jane all the way to Law and Avenue Road. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at 11 division from Law and Jane all the way to uh, Jane and 401. And then we're looking at 31 division from Jane and 401 to uh, Westview. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there's four of them involved. Yeah. yeah. So but when we get to 52 division, they'll just shut down because shut it's down. one way yeah. street. Yeah. So we're just going to take everything. They can follow us if they want. Mm -hmm. And then once we go east on Queen Street, then traffic can go on University. Yeah. And we don't have much to go. To. Yeah. And it's 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. We're probably going to. So that's, now, that's why I was saying that's where the, because it's the heart of the city as well, and that's where all the action, the major, yeah. major action. Now, I have to find out. I'm assuming that this staff sergeant is going to look after that because we may need a permit. Mm, yeah. Because the street is going to be shut down. Yeah. So we may need a permit. So yeah. we'll see if it's doing it. If it's not, then we'll have to quickly do it. Yeah. Of course. Then again, I always say that, well, if we don't have a permit and we are stopped, so it's about the only thing anybody can do is to call the police. Right. So you're gonna call police on police. We are the police. Yeah. yeah. But just for the fun of it, we'll yeah. Okay. We still have to do it. So, so for now, the, the the best thing I would, or first thing I would advise that you do, is to just uh, take a piece of uh, paper and then just, or if if you want, I can write it down the way I just said it now, and then you can just follow it and make, maybe make it better, and then it's okay. Well, you have from. Westview Centennial, the first major intersection is Jane and Finch, and then the next major will be Jane and Shepard, and then Jane and Wilson, Jane and Lawrence, Jane and uh, Western Road, Jane and Eglinton, Jane and St. Clair, Jane and Dundas, Jane and Annette, and then Jane and Blow. And then just continue on Blow Street, Blow and Running with Blow and Key, you know, uh, then Blow and Dundas, Blow and Dufferin. Uh, you know, so then, so now once if you are in a car with someone and then you can ride those major anywhere where there's traffic lights, just like the area. So then you can say, okay, well, I can run from this far, this to this far. So I want to change. Then I 
where once you have a change, the first change, you do not you only you do not come out again until the last change. So once you start at Westview and let's say you go up to Jenna Wilson and you say, okay now this is where I want a change. You don't come out anymore until you get to blow and wherever you want to Queen's Park. So they'll see you at the beginning and they'll see you at the end. So that's, that's what we we'll look at. So I'll, I'll get a. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Wait. Like, you know, you can see if I can use uh, this yeah. paper here. Yeah. So if you can get all the fronts that we can do this. Yeah. 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 I have it in Oh, I know. Yeah, she yeah. just could give you the names. Yeah, of the. The people that are going to change, but no, no, that's that's fine. What we'll do is actually, um, once you you have to do the the root first in a car, and then once you put the change intersections there, then you put the names of the person that will do that there. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to say that this is okay. Road. Yeah. Yeah. And from there, we're going to come out yeah. onto Finch Avenue. Your name, right? I actually, we're changing the program a little bit. Okay. This is Constable Ojo Teobadi. Oh, wonderful. And his daughter, Florence. Hello, Florence. Hi. Let me move this mic down. You can just pull it down towards you. There you go. There you go. Hi. All right. And um, what brings you guys here? Oh. <laughs> Father and daughter looking at each other. This is talks first. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, we're here today just to bring some of the to um, organ transplant you know, donation and uh, how important it is to sign your donor card. And why is it important? Well, I think it's important because there are quite a number of people right now who are waiting for organs, and there are several people who died before they were even able to get organs. And um, I think it's just a good idea. I mean, you can save someone's life. You know, I know it's a hard decision sometimes when someone passes away to make that decision in the heat of the moment that, uh, to donate. Because you really do have to decide. So it helps then if you sign the back of your card, yeah? Exactly. You're, and it's your driver's license. Well, now it's a separate piece of paper that mine is all ripped and worn. And I'm thinking, I don't know whether I, can you laminate these things? Is that allowed? Because sometimes things that are laminated, you're not allowed to do either. What do you think, George? Well, that's a great step. Uh, the next step, what we would ask, is to share it with your family. Yes. You know, and, and make make them know that this is what you really want to do, uh, and hopefully they'll have the courage and strength to carry that with you. In the midst of all the same pain and sadness, because of course, it's not like it just happens. I mean, there are, you can give a kidney, you can give parts of your liver. We spoke about that um, when we were on earlier. Um, but the other, because Vic, you can almost transplant anything. I mean, I know someone who had a lung transplanted. That was so odd to me because I didn't know that that was possible. You know, Tabby, they say in 30 years in all medical communities, in 30 years, 80% of all surgeries are going to be transplant related. You know, we're, we're at that age where we have the medical technology to almost transplant anything. So what do you say to the naysayers, the ones who say, I want to keep my body, I want to keep it whole, I want to go wherever it is you're going in the ground. Well, that's why education is so important. You know, uh, awareness is so important, and, and you got to continue doing this. Uh, you know, it, it just, you can't just uh, do it once and then forget about it. You've got to continue doing this, and it is so important because lives are depending on this. Future lives are going to depend on this. And... Uh, that's why we're doing what we're doing. Well, you've traveled across Canada. Yes. You know, spreading the word. And one thing that I did note was that we need more response from our ethnic community members. Um, more of us of varying shades need to step up to the plate and help each other. Yeah. Well, um, in our campaign, SOS 4000, we, we really had the honor and privilege of uh, meeting a, a special man his name is Constable Ojo Tilbadi, who is with us today. So, sir, let's hear from you. What's your connection with this whole organization? Well, when I uh, first came to meet George, uh, we had an event together. And, uh,
course, it, it's very close to my heart because my daughter, whom I just spoke to first, so about the, uh, 1996, suddenly came up with a kidney disease. Yikes. You look so fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and she has been under <coughs> doctor's care from then. She goes for dialysis three times a week. And it's a pain in the neck to have to be going through that every week. Mm -hmm. and we just came back from Florida. And each time we travel, unlike many families, we have to first make arrangements with the host country. Right. And make sure we get a, a hospital there so that she can have dialysis. Treatment. So right. Because I know my dad, once he was diagnosed, he, we, there was no traveling. Exactly. Anymore. You know, so it was too much of a... So uh, when I met George, and I, I, I figured, well, this is something that I want to be involved. So you're not, so, because it's what I discovered that was, so, oh, oh, listeners, the numbers are 1-800-561-CFRB, 416-872-1010, or star talk on your cellular phone. Please feel free to give us a shout and call in and share your thoughts and um, perhaps your stories on this issue. It's what I've just dis discovered that just because you're related by blood doesn't necessarily mean you have an organ that you can give. That is that is so true. Uh, as a matter of fact, when it was suggested that uh, my daughter receive a transplant, few of us, uh, the family and friends, uh, went for the test, which we're still going through even now. Mm -hmm. It's quite intensive because the doctors are doing everything possible to make sure that the care for the patient is looked after and the care for the donor is also looked after. And that's amazing and that they're working at both very, sides. Very, yeah. and, and we've been very lucky personally that uh, every single doctors and nurses that we've been involved with, they've been basically angels. They've been so caring. So uh, <coughs> after the initial test was found that uh, I am the one that's most uh, compatible mm -hmm. to give uh, my daughter. In fact, my oldest daughter also in the same range, but I said, no, 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 I, I will do it. Right. So we're still going through test, uh, test after test, like I said, to make sure. But as you mentioned earlier, that uh, we need to uh, bring more awareness into the ethnic uh, society. Yeah, I think one of the major things is that the, the ethnics may look at it as some kind of a taboo, that why yes. should I, be, why I don't want anybody to violate my body on my way to heaven. But then what I say to them is that, trust me, heaven understands, because you really don't need that organ where you're going. And on that, we're going to take a break, and we're going to come back and continue this most important discussion. 1-800-561-CFRB, 416-872-1010, or star talk on your cellular phone. Call us, join in in this discussion, you know, even if you're not into it, maybe we can change your mind. So stick around, and those of you on the roads, ladies and gentlemen, take your foot off the gas pedal. Roll your shoulders back and exhale on the ohm. It's the CFRB Pizza Pizza All Day Traffic Center. Is here for a look at wacky roads. So this is Oh, got a liver transplant. Yeah. So she's the uh, wife of the family member that goes through that process of waiting and waiting and waiting and, you know, all those are different ways. And uh, she, you know, uh, she's got a connection with us as well. But, uh, what we're doing now, so that's what I'm doing. And then after her, we're going to bring in Sabina and my sister, who are... Uh, sisters in crime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and, and then we also have the Toronto Porch Champion, Bernice Lindsay, Excellent. Uh, with the uh, school coordinator, because we're really going to make that day, January 16th, a big day. Like, we're going to Yay. You can't stop. They also guarantee the above mentioned will know how to use your gift thanks to a complimentary <coughs> So if you bought it at Black's, sigh of relief goes here. If not, return it. So are you, Seriously. um, oh, wait till the, I get, oh yeah, we're not on there, so I'll call it. Oh, the the Constable Angel is the, uh, chairperson of Step by Step. He's the chairperson. So that thing he's so wearing two hats. Awesome. Many hats. Many hats. Many, many, many hats. Uh, uh, really got, concerned father, that possible that donor, officer. Are you an officer of the law? Yep, yeah, please, officer. 
could we chat a little bit about that? Because Lord knows you must be seeing some stuff out there on the streets. <laughs> We're taking another 15% off select clearance digital Well, cameras. I see. Let me degrade well, myself. That's why I'm a day minister. So I, uh, You're a day minister? Ordained minister. That's another half. You can marry a man for nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's, it's, it's getting to a point now that I say, did few of them and then some of the young people that came felt that it was so neat to see a place of marrying people in uniform. So it was a role ball event. So I've done three young people who said, no, no, it's got to be Ojo. Yeah, but, but they won the You're listening to the Tabby Johnson Show on News Talk 1010 CFRB. Well, we are back with... Um, step by step and uh, right now sitting across from me is officer Ojo who wears so many hats not only are you a father prospective donor um, chairperson of this particular organization you're a policeman and an ordained minister where do you find the time I need to know because when I, for someone being on the on the on the chair of this very important committee as a police officer you often, I would imagine, see people who are wasting their lives. That's correct. And, um, and then as a minister, you see people who want to move forward with their lives. That's correct. So move into the mic a little bit, baby, so I can. There we go, okay. <laughs> so how do you juggle all that? Because you have a lovely, smiling daughter who looks like she's like, you're in for the long haul, aren't you, baby? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, there's no half stuff in here. She is in for the long haul. Um, what made you take on all of these roles? I mean, you could have just stayed a concerned dad. What made you add all these other titles to your name? Well, I, I, from the background where I come from in Africa, um, you just do everything you can until you succeed in all of them. And, uh, you know, and if you, nobody else is going to do it, and just about the only thing you could do is to put your hand up and say, okay, I'll try and I, I, I mentioned it quite a few times before that I personally, when I was a young boy, I used to live on the street. Mm -hmm. So I knew firsthand what uh, poverty is all about. And that was, uh, by the grace of God, I was raised by a Christian family. And uh, as a matter of fact, my dad joked one time years ago, he says, that because I don't drink any alcoholic beverages, he was wondering if I'm actually his son. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was because of the family that I live with and the Christian values that we are taught. And that helped me a lot when I do become a police officer here in Toronto uh, to look at people that violate the law. I will do what I have to do in terms of enforcing the law, mm -hmm. but with compassion. Right. You're marrying that you with know. compassion. Exactly. So one has to accept the efficacy of the other. you know. And then when step by step came along, I, the very first day I fell in love right away with the whole system and the... See you himself, uh, George Machello. So I said, Yeah, I, I will do You're it. in for the count. Now, what country in Africa are you from? Uh, West Africa, Nigeria. Nigeria. So I would love you to now just give a shout out in Nigerian to our listeners because I do have listeners and tell them in their tongue, Get up off the pot. Well, there are a few languages in Nigeria. I know there are. There is one, uh, okay. which my, my language is Yoruba. Yoruba, cool. Yoruba, and uh, it will go something like Bobo and Yoruba, and you will tell me that you will be able to get along. And my son is going to be able to get along. And my son is going to be able to get along. And my son is going to be able to get along. And my son is going to be able to get along. And my son is going to be able to get along. And my son is going to be able to get along. And my son is going to be Thank you. So y'all can't say you didn't know what he was talking about because you, you know, you know, you know, because I've had you on the phone. So now you know how you can help. Thank you. Now, Patty, your husband, Brian, received a liver transplant, yeah? Yes. So where were you in all of this? How long ago was that? What's happening with him? Uh, well, he received his transplant November 25th. Oh, just so recently? He's just wow. recent. I'm still sleepless and uh, hanging out at home with him. Had to take time off work. And uh, so, what happens when you have to take time off work? Because there's that whole other side of things. Were you a you weren't a donor though? 
No, I was trying. It would have been so simple if my older son or I could have been a donor. I mm -hmm. had no idea that your liver can regenerate so quickly Isn't within cool? two months, the whole bit. Mm -hmm. um, we actually had two different people come forward as living donors. One person was eliminated four days before a scheduled surgery last summer. Oh, yeah. They're very careful, and the last test showed a blood clotting anomaly, so he would have a big chance of getting a blood clot, and it was, you know, they, they don't like to kill off their donors, right. their living donors. It's not a happy thing. They're careful. So yeah. the whole thing was called off about three days before the surgery. Oh, heartbreaking. Which was killer, because um, people have all sorts of different reasons for needing transplants. Mm -hmm. My husband was diagnosed four days before last Christmas with liver cancer. Um, so for him, he was uh, racing against the clock because mm -hmm. if the cancer spread outside his liver, like even to one blood vessel, he wouldn't be uh, on the transplant list anymore. It's kind of like, go to palliative care, do not right. pass go. Right. It was it was just a terrible pressure. Oh my gosh. Um, and we, you know, there was no one in our immediate family, like my son or I, who could, who, uh, could be a donor. Lots of people were tested. Um, and uh, how do you member. ask somebody? Well, we just asked. I just, just put ask. that, that wish out there. Yeah. I had a network. As soon as Brian was approved for transplant, I actually had a friend who, uh, the minute he was diagnosed and transplant was considered to be a possibility, she was researching all over the net. You know, it's Yikes. like the women's network. Right. They step up, and uh, she was, you know, she actually started losing weight because she knew you, ha you could only have a certain percentage of body fat and she was eliminated for uh, another health problem but she had lost about 35 pounds I think by the time that uh, uh, came my husband was approved for transplant and it was her husband who stepped up and became the the first living donor for my husband and he had met him once they live in Concordia, Ontario he had to drive in for this massive battery of tests that they give you wow. um, wouldn't wouldn't even let us pay for a hotel nothing like the generosity it's been a real learning experience for us to to learn to accept other people's generosity that puts that God thing back into it I gotta oh, say it holy cow I gotta say it I know that you know there are people who may take umbrage and with that I'm truly sorry but God does work in mysterious ways okay. I am here to tell you all but don't go away we're gonna come back with more wonderful stories and how you too can help I'm Tabby Johnson with my friends on News Talk 1010 CFRB time to celebrate the traditions we all do you have enough time for everybody yes oh yeah bring them on in bring them all in sure just kind of hang around too absolutely we've got some I will get some more chairs okay perfect perfect is taking a break too Joey Oh, good. So, yeah, he's in the next hour. But we'll do some. You're going to get him? Is that where you're going? Okay. Oh, cool. Hmm? Yeah, we'll bring the other members of the group. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You should probably just want to be here and hang in. Listen. Great time saver. Drop by and pick up a selection of Bruno's prepared salads, appetizers, and entrees. Great to have on hand when unexpected just coming drops by. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's almost easy. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I love my gear. Let me see, Joey. Can we um, maybe wheel a chair in from the production office, too? From that. Yeah, yeah. So grab seats. We'll sort of position you around. Microphones. We're going to grab a few more chairs. Oh, that's right. I'll just here. Whenever it's my turn. Hi, how are you? you? Thanks for coming in again. Thank you. Sure. We can share. <coughs> I just need a chair. So he's just going to get a guest and then he'll wheel in another chair. Yeah, can I help him get a chair? Sure, honey. So this is the uh, SOS 4000, uh, part of the team. Part of the team. With you too. 
Yeah. Can I be your part of the team now? Yeah. <laughs> I know it got cold all of a sudden. I know. Didn't it? I just felt it. Hey, Miss Girl. Are you a torchbearer? <laughs> yeah. Back in, uh, have you guys met? Yes. Okay. okay, now if you have a pair of headsets, you can put it on, but you can hear anyway without it. I may need it because they talk to me. Don't tell me. Chubby. Nothing. Oh, I'll just be walking around. I'll just get to a nice walk. And remember that you can one eight hundred five six one CFRB. 416-872-1010 or star talk on your cellular phone. We are speaking with SOS 4000. It is a group of committed, concerned, and loving people who either through need, necessity, or just because they're good folks, want to reach out to all of you at home and talk about um, transplants. There are living transplants that you can do, living donors, and that's usually kidneys and livers. And then there are the transplants that happen when you have unfortunately lost a loved one. Um, what do you say when people say, but the loved one lives on in the lungs or the hearts of... Mm -hmm. There's Patty there. Well, I'd say for sure. Someone is living on with my husband. Uh, he He's so invigorated since his transplant. We're used to living with a really sick guy. And even the next day, he was transformed. It's just such a gift to my children and I to have him, like, back. Back, right. And, you know, the, whoever donated that organ, it's been so powerful for us to have a guy we thought would be dead within weeks, months, to, to have him back with us and to have him sitting in our living room when we didn't think we'd have a second Christmas with him. And that's what it's all about. It's because incredible. I know that um, we're looking for Florence, right? Florence, we're looking for a donor for you. And we've talked about the need for those of us um, of shade persuasion to get up off your behind mm -hmm. and sign the back of your donor's card and to um, let your family know that you have signed your donor's card. And Officer Ojo was talking before the break that it's, um, you know, a lot of cultures will feel that they're not getting to heaven because their bodies are not whole. And what did you say? I just need you to say that once more into the microphone. You'll lean forward, my dear. Oh, no, I was saying that um, you wouldn't have to worry about that because heaven itself actually understands what you're doing. Absolutely. But you know, I think that if <coughs> God gave us the capacity to have higher developed minds, then along with the hatefulness that's out there, those higher developed minds can do good. We don't have to just be blowing people up. Joining us now is the Torch Girl. <laughs> and is this your dad? No. no. My teacher. Your teacher. All right. So introduce yourselves, please. Hi, I'm Denise Lindsay, the Torch Champion for Toronto. And? I'm Terry Jones, the coordinator for the school. Now, what school is this? Westview Centennial Secondary School. And where is that? That is at Jane and Finch. Now see, everybody be rapping down bad about Jane and Finch. And I have to tell you that I have lots of my people are up in Jane and Finch. And some very stellar, fabulous folks are up there, of which you two are standing strong members of a community that is much maligned by, you know, boring media who can't seem to, you know, all, I like, people, the reason why I like my show is because we talk about good things. Mm -hmm. Because I believe good news sells as much, if not more, than bad news. And what we all need in our lives now is some good news. So, Miss Torch Girl, tell me about your torch. And George brought in the torch. Tell us about this torch and what, what, are the, what is the significance of this, my darling? Well, it's good because it teaches and shows people, it educates people uh, that they could donate, even being a living donor, and also giving uh, your, do your organs after your, you pass away. So that's the reason why I joined onto it because I think it's good to show people that and educate people on it because that's why people don't donate. That's why people don't give away their organs or because they don't know about it. They so were you a recipient? Were you someone who needs an organ or are you just somebody who's interested? I'm just somebody that's interested. There you go, Miss Girl. <laughs> there you go, I, Miss Girl. Um, I don't know anybody like, well, I didn't have any friends before this and I didn't know about it that well. And now being a part of it, I know about it. And I believe I want to give away my organs when I do that. 
because I feel that why not help somebody else live on? If I'm already dead, why not give to somebody else that needs it? Honey, you must be so proud of her. Of course. <laughs> of course I am. And, and how did the, so how did you get into this with your school and start this? Well, through George, um, he sent some paperwork to the administration. And I Lots of people get paperwork. Very few people absolutely. read it. Absolutely. <laughs> but um, I am the coordinator, um, staff advisor for a group called Students in Action. They do a lot of volunteer work in the community mm -hmm. and in the GTA as a whole. And it was transferred to me, and I presented it to the group. And they were very enthusiastic about it. Um, the difficulty was choosing the torch bearer. However, um, Denise, as you know, and as you've heard, is a very outstanding student. And passionate. Absolutely. And um, so it boiled down to the decision was easy in the end. So where's the torch going? The torch is going to Queens Park and then to NATO Phillips Square. It's coming to Westview Centennial first and then... Are you, do you walk it down or how, how is this going to happen? George, you want to jump okay, in there, or sure. Sabrina, or sure. Katrina? And, and I'm sure all Joe can step in there, okay? okay. Oh, um, you know, we're going to have to take a break. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, so when we come back, we're going to find about how you can get involved with this torch ceremony. It's January the 16th, if I'm not That's mistaken. Correct. So do not go away, because you don't want to miss a single thing on News Talk 1010 CFRB. I'm Tabby Johnson. No, we're not talking about cars. Alan's away. He'll be back in a couple of weeks. But stay tuned because we're going to talk about how you can make a difference. So often we feel powerless to help. We don't know what to do. We don't know where to start. Ow, 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 ow. Well, you know what? Stop your whining and your sniveling because right here, right now, we got a way that you can lay down and help somebody else. I am Tabby Johnson with my friends on News Talk 1010 CFRB. The time is 348 and when we come back, 416-872-1010, 1-800-561-CFRB, and Star Talk on your cellular phone. I want to hear from you, and I'm going to give you a little bribery. i got some presents to give out. So I want to hear from you about this issue. I'm going to hear your words. So don't go away. It's me. We'll be back. Well, you know what happened is I didn't know until yesterday that my time had been changed. So it's the reason why we may be slow on calls is because I usually am not on until 4 o'clock. So it's sort of people who wouldn't tune in because they're listening, they're not, they don't have a car. Are sort of, so Christina in the show before me kept trying to pump it all the way through, but a lot of our listeners are just sort of, <coughs> so that's why I wanted, if you don't mind, keep you over until this next hour, just to give that final push home when my listeners are first tuning in, going, what do you mean it's almost over? You still have time to help. Yeah. Okay? Does anybody need anything to drink? Everybody okay? You're all good, you're all good. You're all for your coffee, your scotch, or anything. Is there some water? I'll be the first. Yeah, would you like some water? Water, I don't mind. Joey Johnson? Joey Johnson. Joey Johnson. Could you um, track down some water and figure out some ways to bring some water in for our guests, please? Thank you, my love. <laughs> so, the third time, this was the first one from St. John's uh, Newfoundland, October the 1st. And since then, I'll kind of show you how it's been brought along with our students, uh, you know, even at the board of the dance guy getting involved here. Oh, nice. Uh, Karen and, uh, Sometimes there was three foot champions. They just couldn't choose one person. Exactly. <laughs> no, that's so really cool. There was two and the room and, uh, uh, there's just... Uh, and and, and make momentum. sure that we shout out and give your website out, okay? Yeah, yeah we need yeah. the website. Because I looked, I said, oh, geez, I only have Jessica's no, no, information. No, no. I said, I know there's another website. The website so she can advertise it also. When I got to my job, that was our final scholar. Yeah. These were the two questions. This little girl is two years old. And she's in a Montreal hospital. And she needs a heart transplant. Okay, so let's talk about her, too. Zoe Bernard. These kids, it was when they were 40, they still came out walking, those schools closed. 
Okay, so we want to talk because so often our youth get slagged by not being not being in the game and not being concerned. And I've done my best for the last two and a half years to show how fabulous our youth are. And I think this is thank you so much for being part of my last show. I'm getting all weepy. Because <laughs> um, I think kids are great. Meantime, officials think the militant leader was behind. Could you give her the website? SOS. That's for the donations, yeah. right? Donations, you can make a donation online. There's a an all credit card big card. button there that says, if you would like to help, I can please make a donation. You get a tax receipt in, in two minutes. Well, yeah, nothing too small. Yeah, every, everything <laughs> right. it everything helps. 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 You add up all those pennies. I mean, we have a, a couple of jars in our house that you just put pennies and pennies and pennies. And um, we figure out there's about a hundred and almost two hundred dollars in just our pennies and coins. So. That's I'm gonna bring it over to your house. Here, yeah, the man. I mean, the Philip Police, Philip Police Credit Union, helps me with that. You have a machine there that will roll it up and bring it to you. Bro, okay, so then I bring it to you. Then. Yeah. So, okay, so I'll, I'll carry it over to you, but I'll, I'll get you yeah, out of it afterwards because we have a, a great courier system that is really donates their time and services. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, what time is finished today? The show today is finished at 5. So am I, really. And I tipped my throat to Miss Girl over here. She was relentless. Ah, was all I know. Relentless. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, my God. And totally positive, constantly positive, constantly. Just calling to let you know. Just calling to let you know. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Bam! That was that. So very cool. Very cool. So uh, the next target that we have, we're going to sick Sabrina on them that we want on board. Mm -hmm. Like she's our, you know. I got a few. Uh, oh well, she walks in. She's stunning. <laughs> you know, she doesn't look like she needs money, which is always key. You know, there's that whole thing. She looks really healthy. It's like. And once the guys pick themselves up off the floor, the checkbooks are full. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're just ready to give up the cash. Yeah. 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 We have to use whatever means necessary. Just sometimes listening to the news just makes you just want to go back to bed. It's, yeah. And you know, as a teacher, I remember when this young boy was um, killed in Maddie Bernal, which is like And I had his class the next day, my first day teaching. And uh, so I couldn't I didn't know anything had happened because I tend not to listen to the news as much as possible because it's just too depressing. But as I'm getting off the bus and walking in across the room, seeing all these police cars and tape and news vehicles, and, and I walk in and, oh, hi, Miss J, your creative writing teacher. <coughs> and what's going on? Oh, they started telling me. They said, so do you want to talk about it? Uh, no, Miss J. Um, can we write? And I went, absolutely. So once again, the arts give you this outlet to put out how you're feeling without putting yourself so forward. You know, like you can sort of, it's on my piece of paper, it's still very personal, but. Because I said to her, we have to get some good news or some funny news. So she has been going off and she found like these women in their 90s who have been friends since kindergarten. And you know, there's good news can be out there. Mm -hmm. You're looking for it. It's a matter of what you're looking for. And they have to broadcast it. I mean, you know, I've gotten really, really, really great numbers, and I don't you never know, talk about nothing much about that.
For ticket information, visit the Casino Royale box office or any Ticketmaster location. Joe and Chad and the Black Cards, February 8th and 9th, live. Joey Jet Joey, that's what I'm telling you about. That was like one of my faves. And when we all started from the same book, that's when I studied religion, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam all started from the same holy book. And then they spread off as Muhammad and Jesus and all the other prophets came out. <coughs> so how can there be such hate in the world when we all started from the same book? It's just mind-boggling to me. I guess different interpretations. Hmm? The different interpretations are what makes one a little bit different than the other, or those yeah. little differences. And why somebody can say they're better. Or, yeah, those little differences that sometimes uh, another religion won't tolerate, or won't understand, or is not accepting of. And, and, and they put their own things. face to God. And I find that's a bit scary to me. Yeah, those things are uh, personal things almost. Exactly. That's the problem, because they're almost personal. And it's usually their own fears. Because it's been personalized into what they want to see. Yeah. Whether it's the well, the whole schism that's the happening with the... And if the other, so I don't wear one, does that make me less religious? That's the other so side same of same-sex relationships, whether you agree with it or not, I mean, it's... It's Jesus, just kind of we were all equal. God, mm -hmm. we are all equal in the eyes of God. So, how people, you know, if you're not hurting someone, that should be the bottom line. Humanity is humanity. It should be a cross for all living beings with a heart mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we feel and uh, emotions. Mm -hmm. The eyes might look mm -hmm. different, mm -hmm. the color might look mm -hmm. different, mm -hmm. but right. we all mm -hmm. feel mm -hmm. the same way. <laughs> We all have the same notion of that. It's two degrees at Young and St. Clair. Coming up on the Tabby Johnson Show, David Ferry comments on the entertainment industry. For CFRB News, I'm Chris Foster. <coughs> it's Saturday afternoon, and you're listening to Tabby Johnson on News Talk 1010 CFRB. And for those of you who are just tuning in, this is my last show at CFRB. I'm on my way to uh, Bermuda to teach for five months, and then I'm off to Ethiopia in October. Um, it's been a grand ride here, an absolute grand ride. I've met wonderful people, and um, I am very proud to be sharing my last show with this group, the uh, SOS 4000. Their, their website is www sos4000.com and you can go online there it's about transplants it's about how you can make a difference living or dead um, if you um, want to make a donation at this website within two minutes you're going to get your tax receipt every little bit helps there is no donation that is too small when it comes from the right place I'm looking at a picture here of uh, the youngest torch carrier we were speaking with our next to be torch carrier but here's a picture of this young, she's two years old, her name is Zoe. She's in a hospital in Montreal. She needs a heart now. Right now, she needs it today. What do you do about that? What do you say to parents whose child is deathly ill? She's adorable, she's two years old. What do you say? Sorry, get her chopper? No, you can make a difference. You've got to sign the back of your driver's license and that card and you also have to let your family know. We've got the torch carriers, June, this, uh, January the 16th. Sabrina, you want to talk a little bit? Sabrina has been relentless with me in this topic, and you got to love her for it. She puts her faith and her money where her mouth is, and this thing be out with it. Hello, Sabrina. Thank you for coming back. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you again and hear from you and hear your voice. It keeps me going. Yahoo. So talk a little bit about this January the 16th. Well, I, 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 I just want to put it simply like this. It's just furthering the cause. And it is the cause and the effect of reality that 
we need to do this more. And this date will go down in history that's going to make a difference and change the lives and remove people from the hospitals alive, not dead. And I think that if walking we start, not yes, first, walking absolutely. out like a miracle, and uh, thanks to George Marcello's hard works of efforts, um, which is based on charity, the greatest thing we can have people and the public and to the Canadians and to all the different uh, nations that live in this country that we all make a difference. Our organs are not racially discriminative. It is one organ, one color, and one thing in common. It makes you live. And I think that's the reality that I am standing by with George Marcello, Katharina, and every single person at this table, and all the communities that make up this country. So I, as I said, this date is crucial, and I feel that uh, the people and the students and every individual has a voice, but we also have to take the voice to action. We need to sign the forms. It's something that gives life. It gives families a chance to get their homes back in order. It's giving them back peace, and that's a very hard thing. I want to see world. Florence grow up and have babies and be fabulous. Amen. Girl. Yeah. Thank you. You know, and she needs a kidney, and her father, Officer Joe Ojo, is um, hoping to be a donor, but. We talked too about um, the, that our ethnic members of our community, all us shades out there, get up off your couch. Sign. Okay, if you don't drive, don't let that be a deterrent. There are other forms. What other form? If you're not a driver, what else can you do? George. Well, you can also, uh, your health card, there's an indicator there where you can explain your wish. Uh, but I'm going back to what I said at the beginning. All this won't probably do you any good unless you talk to your family about right. it because they're the ones that are going to make the final decision and if you can prepare them as much as possible because it's not like we're all anticipating dying you know what i'm saying it's like <laughs> but stuff happens all you have to do is turn on the radio if it's not me because i don't like to talk about like bad things um but you you cannot step foot out your door without hearing of some calamity that i'm sure those mm -hmm. teenagers driving on the highway were not planning to die I'm sure that that was not in their minds when they were going home from their hockey game or whatever. I'm sure that um, we can make a difference. I feel very positive that we can affect change, and especially when I see young faces like I'm sitting across from, at least Venice? Venice. Venice and Miss Florence, and I look at these young faces and the proud looks of the grown-ups, they're not even related by blood except Officer Ojo, of uh, looking at you guys and going, yes, yes, we have the most wonderful youth in the world, I think, here in Canada. Oh, I'm getting all full <laughs> up again. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. But you can make a difference. And on January the 16th is when Miss Girl is going to take that torch and you're going to go from where to where? Well, we can get into the route now. Uh, we're going to start off the activities at Rescue uh, School, secondary school, that day at 9 a.m. Okay. Uh, there will be two torch champions from uh, Vaughan that had carried it the day before that will be arriving with the torch. Cool. And I believe uh, Westview is going to give uh, Venice a beautiful send-off. And she's, she's going to make her way uh, to uh, Jane Street. And she's are you also walking, are you running, are you driving? How are you going to get there? I'm running. She's, she's running. running. <laughs> Go, but, Miss Girl. But guess what she's doing, Tabby? She, what? She, uh, as we speak, she's already got six of her friends that are going to help her, uh, that are going to run with her, and, and we're going to set up like relay points uh, going down to Jane Street. So we can cheer you on. I won't be here, but I'll be cheering you on in spirit. We can. You can go to the website, your website. That will... Let Always us know the what the route information. is. Information, yeah, yeah. Because you'll need people cheering you on. That's right. Absolutely, that's yelling right. and screaming, giving you orange juice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> so all this, you know, Tabby, uh, like you're you're one of the most beautiful people. You know, I, I, oh, I don't know why I didn't meet you earlier, <laughs> but you know, we we really want to launch this in a big way. Like we want to hit every single media outlet. We want to know. I'm gonna give you my phone book before I go. Okay, okay beautiful. I know lots and lots beautiful. of people. <laughs> because we want everybody out there that on you know, that day cheering Benice and everybody else that is participating, and we want those people safe. We yeah. want those people, and we can do it. We can. We can. We have modern technology. Let's use our modern technology for good. Like I said before, God gave us a brain. 
Let us use that God-given gift of intellect, intelligence, and compassion to move forward in this most worthy, worthy struggle. Triple W S O S four thousand dot com. You can go there and make a donation. You'll get a tax receipt. Every bit helps. Talk to your family. Let them know that these really are your wishes. That because when it's all scary and everyone's freaking and crying and whatnot, they might not remember if. You, you're not gonna have time to tell them. You know what I'm saying? So you better tell them before something happens. And it's and it's almost you can almost use it as a as a blessing of nothing will happen because I've said that you can have something of me to live on to help others live on. Thank you all so much for coming and being part of my last show. Why don't you give a final goodbye, everybody? I'll start off. I want to thank Fionn uh, McCool's for helping us with some coffee before we came here. Yay. And. I'm really encouraging all Torontonians to show the world what Tor Toronto's made out of. Get behind Venice Lindsay. Yes, yes. I want to thank you for your last show, Tabby, for having us on the show, um, making a difference in this city, uh, making it with a blast. Thanks you so much. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you, Tabby, for having us on the show again and for all your efforts and wonderful approach that you have because I must Stop say crying. you come across strongly, strongly and I really, we all appreciate that. Love thank you, you again, again and may God bless you. Thank you, it's been my honor. I want to thank George for contacting Western Centennial Secondary School and I want to thank you Tabby for having us here and I want to say that I'm very grateful to be part of this cause and I would like to continue doing as much as I can to contribute and to further the cause and educate people about urban donation. Thank you. I just want to say thank you, and I want to talk to people in Toronto and tell them, please, come out, support, get educated on the issue. And can they find you on me. Facebook, Miss Girl? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> you can find her on Facebook. I'll put that up on my site, too. Okay. <laughs> thank you. And? I'd like Patty. to thank you for giving a voice to all the need that's out there, as well as the way to get there through SOS 4000. And a thank you to the donor, who, the family who saved my husband's life. Absolutely, thank my you. darling. An officer, minister, many-hatted man. <laughs> Tabby, all I want to say to you is that you have a ministry, and you've carried that ministry very well. Because oh, when gosh. you talk about living <laughs> the comfort of this job, to go out there to teach kids in places like Ethiopia. I don't have to tell you that you know that you are carrying your ministry well. So Thank my you. prayer for you is that the Most High God will continue to support you, to strengthen you, and to make a space to shine upon you and give you peace. Mm -hmm. When you leave, your child will still be looked after. Thank you. Not by man, but by God himself. Because what you're doing is what he has asked you to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And my last little baby there, say a shout out. Um, I just want to say thank you to uh, George for his uh, tireless efforts with the cause. And uh, thank you, Tabby, for having us. And thank you, everybody, for being a part of the cause. And uh, I also want to thank my father for being not only a great leader in the community, but being an excellent leader to me, too. I'm Tabby Thank Johnson. You. This is News Talk 1010 CFRB. And for those of you on the roads, I know you took your foot off the gas pedal. I know you've been listening to this. And because you're so cool, here's the CFRB Pizza Pizza All Day Traffic Center. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Well, you know, we got to take some pictures. Yes, um, Tabby. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh. Tabby, it's so sad you have to leave us when we needed you. And you know what? You were there when we needed you most. Okay. Thank you all for your, for your, just, you are the strongest woman I know. Well, thank you. I wouldn't give up on you. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Tabby. Oh. You're wonderful. It takes one to know one. Absolutely. All the best when you're thank you. traveling and at thank whatever. You. I'm sure it's with the I'm going to be making them sign their cards down there, too. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You all are just awesome to me. Miss Patty, give a hug to your, your wonderful husband and your very brave son. Girl, be walking strong. Okay. I wish I'll be there in spirit. And you, getting all your students there. Thank you. Thank you. Officer, sir, minister, all of it all. God bless you. Thank you. I look forward to singing at your wedding. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> I told her I cannot perform the wedding because I'm her father, so we have to call her minister. Much late, much late. Yay, us. Yeah. Round of applause. Oh, us. Oh, Yay, us. Yeah. Are you going home right away? Just going to go for a coffee after if you want. I yeah, I'll, well, I'm, I'll, I'll love to go for coffee. i got yeah. two more guests and then... Across the street? Is that okay, Fionn McCool? Yeah. Yeah. already. Yeah, yeah. What are you? St where are you? St uh, Starbucks or? No, Fionn McCool's right across the street. Oh, perfect. I'll meet you there. Okay. okay perfect. perfect. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Make sure you get all your stuff. I'll get yep. it away. <laughs> so, Joey, we can bring Greg in. And Terry, you know, this is towards the oh. <laughs> <laughs> That way, you know, Lindsay, Probably when you receive it on the 16th, it's kind of, you know what it is. It's <laughs> not a shock. The Christian television program, they're going to be on the air. I did that too. But, you know, to uh, meeting with him and just getting all the Christian uh, networks in and all the churches. That's another, that's that's another, that's another, another puddle. Funky Lights or low key Let's go. Or Let's How about um, that, some of that gospel, do we have to stand up or something like Thank you for letting me be myself, or everybody is a star from Sly and the Family Stone, or some Joe Seely. Some positive <laughs> affirmation, because I don't know if I got on my gospel family. stuff. Yeah, we are family. We are family. That's a nice one. Yeah, put that back in the along with these pictures here. Anything else, George? Uh, I'm going to put the computer back in a second. Just got to turn off for a Go to yarby.com. George, you're a great, 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 great. Who are you? Are you kidding me? I'm going to do what we're going to do. Good here. Wait till you see the movie guy. <laughs> He's he needed seven days. He, he was so else. stunned. Good. I need to think about this for seven days. Yeah. Seven days. Think about it. Hilarious. I'll yeah. work him over. Because he's the head of housing. Joey? Yeah. Let me carry that. Oh, good. No, no. Okay, Tab. See you. I'll get thing to carry this.